So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral from 0 to 3 of y minus 3 times 2y plus 1 dy. So let's just start off by rewriting our integral, 0 to 3. And then I'm going to rewrite this part out by foiling it out. So we have y minus 3 times 2y plus 1. So we're going to use the FOIL method. So we're going to multiply by this and by this and this like this. So y times 2y is going to become 2y squared. y times 1 is going to be plus y. Minus 3 times 2y is minus 6y. Then minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So if we combine like terms, so y minus 6y is going to be minus 5y and minus 3. So we're just going to put this up here because we basically just rewrote this. So it's going to be, let me erase it first, so 2y squared minus 5y minus 3 times dy. And then what I'm going to do is actually solve the integral. So what we need to do is take the antiderivative of this first. So we have 2y squared minus 5y minus 3. So let's start by taking the antiderivative of 2y squared. So what we do is we add 1 to the exponent then divide by that. So this can become y cubed over 3, but we're multiplying by 2. So we multiply this by 2. It's going to become 2 over 3 y cubed. And let's do minus 5y. That's going to become, we're going to add 1 to the exponent. So it's y to the 1. So it's going to become y to the 2. And then we divide by that. But we're multiplying by minus 5. So it's going to become minus 5 over 2 times y squared minus 5 over 2 times y squared. And then we just have a constant here, minus 3. So that's just going to become minus 3y. Because when you have a constant, you just add your variable onto it. So minus 3y. And then what we want to do is check it from our upper bound and lower bound. So 0 goes on the bottom. And then 3 goes on top. So what we're going to do is plug in 3, get a value. And then we're going to subtract whatever 0 is plugged into this. So let's plug in 3 first. So if we plug in 3, it's going to be 2 over 3 times 3 cubed minus 5 over 2 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3. So let's solve this. So 3 cubed is going to be 27. And so we have 2 over 3 times 27. And so I can simplify this just by um, keeping it in a fraction form. So 27 times 2 is 54. So I'm just going to rewrite it as 54 over 3. Then we're minusing uh, 3 squared is 9. We're multiplying it by 5 over 2. So 9 times 5 is 45. We have 45 over 2. And then minus 3 times 3 is just minus 9. And so I'm going to uh, put this in an easier form so we can uh, subtract these. So I'm going to make it so they're all over 6. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we go ahead and do that. What we want to do is put 50, 54 over 3, and we want it to be over 6 instead. So what we do is multiply it by 2. So 54 times 2 is 108. So it's going to be 108 over 6 because we just multiplied both by 2. Then minus, and then we want 45 over 2 to be over 6 instead. So we're going to multiply by 3. So 45 times 3 is 135, and then it's going to be over 6. Then we want 9 to be over 6. So 9 times 6 is going to be 54, so 54 over 6, and then we can just subtract, so 108 minus 135 minus 54 is going to be minus 81. So this right here is going to be equal to minus 81 over 6. So we have that right here, minus 81 over 6, and we're going to minus when we plug in 0. And if you see here, we plug in 0, it's just going to become 0 because all these have a y in it, so 0 cubed is just 0, times 2 over 3 is 0, 0 squared is 0, and then, so it's just going to become 0. So we're just going to subtract 0, but if you subtract 0, it's basically the same thing. So our answer is going to be minus 81 over 6, but we can simplify it by dividing by 3. So 81 divided by 3 is 27, so this is just going to become minus 27, and then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the answer to this problem is going to be minus 27 over 2.